Hey guys and welcome back to another Element video tutorial. Today we're going to keep it real quick like we always do most of the time and talk about the MIDI panel right over here. So what this is is properties for our MIDI properties for your node that you have selected and also has a rename box so that you can rename your nodes. Uh, so we'll just start there. We'll say RoboVerb renamed and there you have it. It just renames the node. It's just uh, so you can label stuff. The next area is MIDI channel and you have your Omni option or you can choose individual channels that you want your node to respond to. So with Omni on, uh, any MIDI channel, uh, a message that comes in will uh, react or the node will react to that. And if you have these checked, it'll only react to whichever channels you have on. And the next section is MIDI program. And this allows you to uh, load and save plugin states from MIDI programs. So if you want to use that, you need to turn it on here. And then I'll just do a quick uh, demo of this. So we're going to put it on MIDI program one. And I'll go over here to RoboVerb and check all the boxes off and save it. Then I'll go to MIDI program two. I'll turn all the check boxes on or toggles, whatever you want to call them and save it. And now let's go back to program one. And when you click this button here, it'll load the saved program from disk or memory. So we'll load it It flips them all off we'll go to program two, load it and it flips them all on. So, that's kind of what that does. I don't have any hardware right now, but I can simulate this with uh, this debug menu, uh, which is a developer only thing. Sorry guys, you won't have this, but uh, I assure you this will work with hardware that does send MIDI programs. So from uh, my menu here, I'm gonna send program change uh, on, or the program change one on channel one. And you can see RoboVerb changed its state. Now I'm going to put it back on program channel two or uh, program two channel one <laughs> and it flips them all back on there. And you can see that the program changed here. So uh, if you want to use that, uh, it, this is a brand new feature at the time of recording this video. Um, this will be out in the element 0 0.29 uh, coming next week. So. The next part here is, and there's a, a video specifically on this, is key start. So when you have these ranges set here, well, key start and key end, they go together. Uh, the node is only going to respond to notes that come in starting here and ending here. And you can use this by having multiple instruments and set uh, changing the key ranges and set up keyboard splits that way. Uh, again, there is a video specifically about that. I encourage you to watch that if you want to know how to do keyboard splits with the current version of Element. And then the next part is MIDI transpose. So all this is going to this is the value showed is in semitones. So this will just offset the MIDI notes that come in. Uh, if you have it on negative eight, then it'll be eight semitones lower than uh, what the key that you actually pressed. Uh, and another example, if it's positive two, then notes coming in will be two semitones higher. And I'd like to say that, that these do go in order uh, filtering. So MIDI transpose will happen after the keyboard ranges. That's something to keep in mind. Uh, transpose does come after the, the key ranges, so don't get confused there if you want to use both. Um, so another way of thinking about that is the key start and key end is going to correspond to the notes that you are actually playing on your keyboard. And then anything that gets through there will then be transposed. 
and that's it for now uh <clears throat> we're gonna add um, probably i'm not sure what's coming down the pipeline and midi filtering on the nodes but uh there's going to be more stuff and if you hit us up in support uh, or the feedback form on the website uh just let us know what you need and you know i'll do what i can to get that stuff in there so uh, thanks for watching this one i uh, hope it's been informative and we'll see you in the next one peace out guys Bye.